please rise for our national anthem. Ladies and gentlemen, the Provost of Virginia Commonwealth University, Dr. Gail Hackett. Good morning. Please be seated. Welcome to Virginia Commonwealth University's May Commencement Ceremony. Today, we gather for the honor of celebrating the accomplishments of VCU's class of 2016. My name is Gail Hackett, and I'm the Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs. On behalf of President Michael Rao, the Board of Visitors, and our faculty and staff, it is a pleasure to welcome you to this morning's commencement ceremony. I'm pleased to recognize our VCU Police Honor Guard, our soloist, Forrest Glass, and the VCU Commencement Band conducted by Terry Austin. Let me begin by introducing those who share the platform with me today. I will ask the members of the platform party to rise as you are recognized and remain standing. Please kindly hold your applause until the end of the introductions. Seated to my left, Rector of the VCU Board of Visitors, John Luke Jr., Vice Rector Jackie Stone, and members of the Board of Visitors. Our VCU Alumni President, Jim Williams, Seated to my right, our University Vice Presidents. Seated behind me, to my right, Faculty Senate President Holly Alford and Student Government Association Presidents Siraj Telhan and Keith Zirkel. Also seated behind me are deans representing each of the schools and colleges with graduates today. On each side of the stage are our Grand Marshals, Humberto Fabello and Ellen Byrne. Other members of the platform party who are not recognized at this time will be recognized during the program. I'm also pleased to acknowledge and extend a warm welcome to students and guests from the Qatar campus seated in the President's Box. So. Please join me in recognizing this wonderful group of people. In various locations around the arena are members of our outstanding and committed faculty, 
including several emeriti faculty members who have joined us today. Would all faculty please stand so that we may congratulate and thank you for the integral role that you played in transforming the lives of all of our graduates. Let's also take a moment to thank the many family and friends who have supported our graduates through the years and who have made this day so meaningful to each of them. Would the parents, grandparents, spouses, significant others, children, and friends and other relatives of our graduates please stand and be recognized. As we celebrate the achievements of our graduates this morning, I would be remiss to not thank a few special members of the platform party. Dean of the School of the Arts, Joe Seipel, and Interim Vice Provost for Life Sciences, Len Smock, are retiring. In addition, Dean of the School of Medicine, Jerry Strauss, Dean of the Wilder School, Naraj Verma, Interim Dean of the College of Humanities and Sciences, Allison Baskey, and Interim Dean of the School of Education, Leila Christenberry, will be stepping down as deans and returning to the faculty. Please join me in showing gratitude for each of their many contributions to not only the schools and colleges, but to all of ABCU. Now, it is my pleasure to welcome to the podium the President of Virginia Commonwealth University, President Rao. Thank you, Provost Sackett. Good morning. It is such an honor and a pleasure to be here together with all of you this morning, and especially to have this opportunity and privilege that I'm granted to celebrate the achievement of your commencement. So this really begins a new chapter in your lives, but you know, it's also, in many ways, a new chapter in the progress of humanity. That's because among our graduates, there is remarkable talent and really a stunning capacity to achieve what is so long thought to be so impossible. This is proven every single day by thousands and thousands of your fellow alums who graduated before you. And these are people who, like you, have made an enormous impact on society. They literally touch millions of lives. So as I was driving here this morning, I was thinking a little bit about a man who had many talents. This is a man whose name is Louis Soutour. He studied engineering in Lausanne. He studied architecture in Geneva, violin in Brussels, and painting and drawing in Paris. He worked in higher education for a time. He also worked in the theater. He played in an orchestra, and he was such a prolific artist. In fact, so much so that it's estimated that he produced 2,000 paintings and drawings in the final years alone of his life. Many of them were actually done on wrapping paper, used envelopes in the margins of books, or wherever, whenever he could find the inspiration to create something struck him. Late in his life, Louis Soutour suffered from arthritis and near blindness, but he was still compelled that he would create. So he would paint using his fingers, just his fingers alone. His work was often evocative, it was moving, but it was so revolutionary that it has inspired generations of contemporary artists who have followed him. For Louis Soutour, there was nothing that was off limits and nothing that was impossible for those, who, for, for, for those who pursued it with passion and with creativity. In fact, he once said, and let me quote him directly, if the impossible exists, I'm on its track. So that quote is a quote that's actually written on one near, wall that's near the entrance to the American Visionary Art Museum 
in Baltimore. So let me say it again. If the impossible exists, I'm on its track. So what would that really mean for you? What can you learn or what can I learn from a Swiss artist who lived more than a century ago? Well, for one, that you can do absolutely, unequivocally, anything. There is nothing that is too hard or too far beyond what you can achieve. As graduates of one of America's premier urban public research universities, you have the chance, but I have to tell you, you also have the charge to make the world a better place for people everywhere. And I say that because you can. That's the nature of our research university, that anyone from any background can achieve in remarkable ways. And that what we do here matters far beyond our campus boundaries, that the ways in which we innovate and drive ourselves to create, to cure, to solve problems, they're the best measures of our progress ultimately. In your time at VCU, you've worked with my faculty colleagues, your mentors, as well as with each other. You've connected across disciplines and you've certainly connected across campuses. You've done it as visionary and determined scholars for whom success means that lives will be changed, not that courses will be completed alone. I'm glad you completed the courses, though. And I'm convinced that your talents and your resolve will forever change what we know to be the human experience. You know, in the last couple of weeks, I really enjoyed spending time with so many of you as you have completed and shown off your final projects. And you know, what really impressed me the most was the talent and the creativity, but also the incredible professionalism that each of you exuded. You're confident and you're absolutely ready for the world that you're about to walk into. And I hope VCU has been an important part of helping that be possible for you. You're going to do way more than compete in your field. What I noticed in watching your projects is that you will have actually already, before you get there, you will have changed your fields. For you, as for Louis Souter, the idea that something is impossible is absurd. And for that, I'm glad. We need you. You're going to pioneer breakthroughs in every one of your fields. You'll advance the human experience in remarkable ways, something we talk about at VCU all the time. You will achieve what has been thought to be out of reach until you come along. Humanity may not have figured it out yet, but I know that you will. If the impossible exists, you're on its track. And I'm very excited about our future because of you. So on behalf of the entire university community and everyone involved in your education, a heartfelt warm congratulations to every single one of you. And I thank you. So now I have the privilege and honor of introducing someone who is just another great example of a VCU alum from whom the word impossible meant absolutely nothing. Her name is Pam Eel, and she's your keynote speaker this morning. Pam graduated with a bachelor's degree in mass communication from VCU in 1983. Now she's the executive vice president and chief marketing officer for the National Basketball Association, the NBA. She's guiding the global marketing operation, she's guiding brand development, and she is in charge of all advertising for the NBA, the WNBA, <clears throat> and the NBA Development League. So what that means is that she's gotten to work with the entire contingent of VCU players in the NBA, including most recently, Briante Weber and Troy, Troy Daniels. So I would say that's a pretty cool job for only one person who holds this only one job in the world. It's Pam. 
Before she went on to the NBA, she held positions at the internationally renowned corporations like Nationwide and State Farm, and of course at two Richmond global marketing firms, the Martin Agency and Sedell. Pam has won numerous awards, including being named, and I quote, one of the 100 most influential women in advertising. That was a designation by Advertising Age magazine. I am so proud of Pam, and I know you join me in that. We're very honored and pleased that she's here with us today. So please, a very warm welcome for your fellow alum, Pam Eel. Thank you. Give me one second. Dr. Rao is a little taller than I am. That's not my fault. It's not his fault. It's just true. Dr. Rao, may I move your microphone? Please. They told me not to touch this microphone. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'll move it for you. Thank you. Notice, I didn't touch it, y'all. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Good morning. That's what I'm talking about. I met a few of you all out in the hallway, and you were actually asleep. <laughs> that guy sitting right down there with those sunglasses, I met him in the hallway. He was leaning up again. Never mind. <laughs> President Rao. Board of Visitors and Distinguished Guests, thank you for the privilege of allowing me to come back to Richmond, to my alma mater, to spend a few minutes with you today. And I want to say to the proud families and to the amazed friends and to the smarter than yesterday soon to be graduates of Virginia Commonwealth University. Y'all, let's give it up for the class of 2016. That's what I'm talking about. VCU is a very special place, and it's a place that actually sets you up to succeed in life. What I was able to learn at VCU over 30 years ago really did help me determine what I wanted to do both professionally and personally. And aside from the student debt that I left here with <laughs> and the total uncertainty about my future and the heart-wrenching reality that set in the next day when I had to leave my friends, I was all good. And I'm telling you, if you're feeling any of this, y'all, I promise you, you will get better, probably. <laughs> One of the greatest lessons that I learned over the years is that if you're going to put yourself out there, you need to go all the way. So in the spirit of that, I can't sing worth a lick but I have a little song for y'all. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Now, I can guarantee you that you didn't come here today to hear me try to sing. <laughs> but you did come to VCU to study and learn and work and cram and test for the opportunity to let your little light shine. So how do you ensure that it continues to burn brightly years after you leave this building? The last time I was in the Richmond Coliseum was 1983, when I graduated from the School of Mass Communications. All right. They were letting us out then, and they're letting us out now, I'm just telling you. 
I didn't know where life would take me. I didn't know where my professional path would lead, but I did know that I had a chance. I knew that I had a very small chance to do something great and to have some fun. I also knew that I had an obligation. It is a privilege and honor and yes, an obligation to share the fruits of your labor with the world. And that begins by finding your passion. But what is passion? What if you don't know what to be passionate about? That's a problem, by the way. Passion is a feeling. It is a fire that burns inside of you. And if you don't have it, you will die because you will bore yourself to death. <laughs> I'm passionate about several things. Red wine, <laughs> country music. I'm passionate about my current husband, Bill Bay, who's sitting right over here. Hey, Billy. passionate about my next husband, <laughs> Denzel Washington. Hey, I'm also passionate about art and decorating and yes, marketing. For most of us though, yay, marketing. For most of us though, our passions are grounded in something that we like to do but we simply haven't figured out how to make a living doing it. And that's why our passions often end up manifesting themselves as our hobbies and not the thing that we do to sustain ourselves. But take my future husband, Denzel. <laughs> you don't believe me. He found his passion. Look at how much time, energy, and effort he put towards his craft, which led him to becoming an Oscar-winning actor. He figured out how to make a living doing what he loves to do. And look at that amazing body. I'm sorry, I mean, look at that amazing body of work that he has achieved. <laughs> My favorite country singer is Gretchen Wilson. Gretchen was born in Pocahontas, Illinois, and when she set out to make a name for herself by moving to Nashville, they told her she did not have what it takes to become a star. In fact, they said, girl, go back home. But Gretchen said, they couldn't whoop the fight inside of me. That fight was her passion, and that passion led her to become one of the greatest country music singers of our day and age. Both Denzel and Gretchen did it by giving their all. They did it by letting their little lights shine. I too was able to follow my passion. I didn't know what I wanted to do professionally, but I remember telling the counselor at VCU in 1979 that I simply wanted to talk to people. Now, you can't make a living just talking to people, or can you? That counselor directed me to the School of Mass Communications, and the culmination of that is my standing here having this conversation with you today. My passion led to my dream job, Chief Marketing Officer of the NBA. I love sports, my favorite sport was basketball, and marketing was my passion. There was but one job for me, and I knew it. And in my job, I get to tell the story of Steph Curry and LeBron James. There is no better job in the world for me. But you know what, guys? It didn't just happen. It took a long time and it was really, really hard work. Were there people? 
haters who didn't want this awesomeness for me, you bet. But they couldn't whoop the fight inside of me. They couldn't. You now get to find your passion and use it to let your little light shine. What I know about you is that you're already well on your way. Many of you came here to do one simple thing, and that is to prepare yourselves to change the world. You all wanted to come to VCU for the real life urban setting that allows you to think and create and incubate in the real world. 51% of you say that you want to own your own business one day. 15% of you have already started those businesses while studying here. Eight viable businesses, from a mushroom farm to a biotech medical firm, were started just this past year by students in this audience. Many of you came here to learn the art and science of problem solving. And you are leaving having done just that. The passion and talents that you brought with you, added to the education you received at VCU, allow you to do nothing less than change the world. But before you go, there are three things you must do. And because I sat where you're sitting over 30 years ago, I have a little insight to what those three things are. Now, you can go out and do research, but I would suggest you just hear me out, do these things, don't do the research, just do these, okay? Just trust me, all right? You good with that? Just trust me. Number one, kiss your mama. or your daddy, or your spouse, or your significant other. Or better yet, find a mirror and kiss yourself. But show some affection and gratitude to whomever is responsible for your being right here, right now. This is a very special moment in time that will never happen again and you should cherish it forever with the ones you love. Number two, you with me? Number two, go see the Broadway play Hamilton. <laughs> if a story about the founding fathers of this country set to hip hop doesn't make you feel proud of your God-given right to change the world, nothing will. Hamilton is passion at its best. Now, I must admit, I'm a little addicted to the play. Since it opened on Broadway in August of this past year, I've seen it eight times. <laughs> and when I get back to New York next Wednesday, I'm seeing it for the ninth time. Don't judge me. Just go see it. If you're going to change the world, you need to know how cool people actually do it. So go see that play. Number three, celebrate today and never ever forget this feeling that you have right now. Because I'm telling y'all this, in this crazy life that you are about to live, in the next 30, 40, or 50 years, if you are lucky, you will soon be working 24-7 with two smartphones, a tablet, a droid that's chasing your every move, a bad habit of some kind, and major, major sleep deprivation. You will crave days off that never are. And you will long for the luxury you once had of not having to be always on. Enjoy this, my friends, and really, really enjoy it while you can. Then, after you've had some downtime, and after you've celebrated today, 
find something great that only you can do and go do it. Showcase your passion to the world. And when you find yourself in the thick of things, it's gonna be hard, it's gonna get harder. You're gonna find your back up against the wall. But I double dare you, when you find yourself in that place, hum a few bars of this little light of mine. Thank you so much. Thank you for allowing me to speak and congratulations to the graduates of the class of 2016. Thank you. Pam, my goodness, thank you very, very much. Um, what incredible wisdom you have conveyed, and albeit with a wonderful sense of humor, Billy and I both know that was a lot of humor, and we very much appreciate your coming back, and what an incredible inspiration that, uh, that you are for all of us, all of our graduates, of course, but all of us as well. And uh, I think I'm going to take quite a bit of that advice myself starting today, shut some of those screens off. So each year at VCU's commencement ceremony, we offer special recognition to individual people whose careers and values have enhanced Virginia Commonwealth University and the quality of life for people in our communities in Virginia, but also around the world. So today we're going to begin with the presentation of the Honorary Doctor of Humane Letters. So this is VCU's highest recognition. It acknowledges those who have made outstanding contributions specifically to society through their scholarship, through humanitarianism, science, art, and public service. This year, we are very proud to award the Honorary Doctor of Humane Letters to our commencement speaker, Pamela K. Eel. Provost Hackett, would you please come forward? Board of Re Visitors Rector John Luke, Jr., would you please escort our degree recipient forward? Pamela K. Eel, as a recognized business leader and public servant, you have garnered the respect and admiration of your peers and the communities you have served. Your marketing acumen, creativity, focus, and drive have made you a powerful influence across a broad range of industries. In a career that spans more than 30 years, you have received numerous distinctions that herald your many accomplishments. President Rao. Pamela Eel, in recognition of your achievements by the authority vested in me by the Board of Visitors of Virginia Commonwealth University, I hereby confer upon you the degree Doctor of Humane Letters, Honoris Causa, with all of the rights, privileges, and emoluments thereunto pertaining. Congratulations, Pam. Our next special award is the Edward A. Wayne Medal. This is a medal that honors individual people who have made outstanding contributions or provided exemplary service to Virginia Commonwealth University. This is a medal that was named in honor of the university's first vice rector, who played a significant role in the creation of this institution. This year, our Edward A. Wayne Medal goes to True and Charles Luck III. Charles could not be here with us today, 
so his daughter Cynthia Haw will actually accept the medal on his behalf and bring it to him. Rector Luke, would you please again um, join True and Cynthia and we will deliver to them the medals. True Far Luck and Charles S. Luck III for your extraordinary philanthropy and service to Virginia Commonwealth University, we thank you. Your unwavering commitment through volunteer leadership and gracious benevolence is exemplary. The many contributions you have made through the investment of time and resources to a variety of VCU programs and initiatives have helped to propel VCU to new heights. You are shining examples of service and commitment to the university and we are grateful for your loyalty and devotion, which will have powerful and lasting effects on the student experience, the community, and the health of the region for many years to come. President Rao. True and Charles Luck, in recognition of your tremendous generosity and support by the authority vested in me by the Board of Visitors of Virginia Commonwealth University, I hereby present to you the Edward A. Wayne Medal. Our last special award is the Board of Visitors Award. This is an award that recognizes the achievement of an outstanding student who represents the distinctive attributes of a VCU student. Of course, outstanding academic achievement, leadership and service to the university, as well to the community at large. The recipient receives a one-year tuition and fee scholarship from the Board of Visitors. This, this year's Board of Visitors Award goes to Marvin Chow. Rector Luke, would you please escort Marvin to the podium? Marvin Chow, your high academic achievement, strong leadership, and compassionate service not only have set you on a path to success, but also have positively influenced your peers and helped ignite the potential in others. You exemplify the very best Commonwealth, Virginia Commonwealth University has to offer. And your commitment to excellence in scholarship and service has made an indelible mark on the university and the community at large. President Rao. So Marvin, in recognition of your wonderful achievements and the wonderful role model that you are to all VCU students and to many of us as well, by the authority vested in me by the Board of Visitors of Virginia Commonwealth University, I present to you the 2016 Board of Visitors Award, and I will do so together with the Board of Visitors Rector, John Luke, Jr. Once again, congratulations to all of our special awardees. So now, we will turn our attention to present candidates for each of their degrees, and we will begin by asking Graduate School Dean Doug Boudinot to please come forward and present our Doctor of Philosophy, that is PhD, and EDD, Doctor of Education, candidates for their graduation. Thank you, President Rao. 
Will the candidates for the degree Doctor of Philosophy and Doctor of Education please rise? <laughs> Mr. President, as Dean of the Graduate School, it gives me great pleasure to present these candidates who have fulfilled all requirements and are recommended by the graduate faculty of Virginia Commonwealth University. And by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Commonwealth of Virginia, the Board of Visitors, and upon the recommendation of each of your faculty members, I am very pleased to, to confer upon each of you your doctoral degrees. Dean Budno? The candidates' major advisors will join me in hooding the candidates. The President will be joined by Rector Luke in congratulating the graduates. Doctor of Philosophy and Social Work, Cynthia M. George, accompanied by Sarah Bright. Doctor of Philosophy and Social Work, Matthew DiCarlo, accompanied by Sarah K. Price. Doctor of Philosophy and Social Work, Dahlia Corey, accompanied by Elizabeth Farmer. <laughs> Doctor of Philosophy and Health-Related Sciences, Candace e. Brown, accompanied by John J. Cotter. Doctor of Philosophy in Health-Related Sciences, Kelly DeBoth, accompanied by Stacy Reynolds. <laughs> Doctor of Philosophy in Health-Related Sciences, James Furstein, accompanied by Suzanne Wright. Doctor of Philosophy in Health-Related Sciences, Jane Callan McNeil, accompanied by Al Capolillo. <laughs> Doctor of Philosophy in Art History, Jeanette Louise Nicewinner, accompanied by Eric Garberson. Doctor of Philosophy in Art History, Emily Davis Winthrop, accompanied by Eric Garberson. <laughs> Doctor of Philosophy in Art History, Samina Iqbal, accompanied by Dina Bangdell. Doctor of Education and Leadership, Stacy Austin, accompanied by Brenda Kalbeck. Doctor of Education and Leadership, Nicholas Barlett, accompanied by Brenda Kalbeck. Doctor of Education and Leadership, Patricia A. Crane, accompanied by Thomas Beatty. <laughs> Doctor of Education and Leadership, Philip W. Holmes, accompanied by Thomas Beatty. Doctor of Education and Leadership, Candy Michelle Price Llewellyn, accompanied by Thomas Beatty.
Doctor of Education and Leadership, Michael J. Massa, accompanied by Thomas Beatty. Doctor of Education and Leadership, Anjur Barnes Harris, accompanied by Catherine Mansfield. <laughs> Doctor of Education and Leadership, Stacy L. Rainbow, accompanied by Catherine Mansfield. Doctor of Education and Leadership, Leela Brinegar, accompanied by Katherine Mansfield. <laughs> Doctor of Education and Leadership, Carrie Gibson Connolly, accompanied by Barbara Driver. Doctor of Education and Leadership, Katherine Ambrose Niemeyer, accompanied by Barbara Driver. Doctor of Education and Leadership, Tracy Bond Seitz, accompanied by Barbara Driver. Doctor of Education and Leadership, Megan Kirsten Tenea, accompanied by Barbara Driver. Doctor of Education and Leadership, Roberta L. Walker, accompanied by Barbara Driver. Doctor of Philosophy in Education, Katherine Whitaker Best, accompanied by Thomas Farmer. Doctor of Philosophy in Education, Sarah D. Arment, accompanied by Evelyn Reed. Doctor of Philosophy in Biomedical Engineering, Trisha Mazinzo, accompanied by Peter Pitko. Doctor of Philosophy in Biomedical Engineering, Deepak Komare, accompanied by Peter Pitko. Doctor of Philosophy in Biomedical Engineering, Ruchi D. Chanthe, accompanied by Rosalind Hargraves. <laughs> Doctor of Philosophy in Engineering, Chung Wang, advise, uh, accompanied by Rosalind Hargraves. Doctor of Philosophy and Engineering, Murtada Shaheen Al Maliki, accompanied by Rosalind Hobson. <laughs> Doctor of Philosophy and Engineering, Domido Weje Yasikara, Rosalind Hargraves. Doctor of Philosophy and Engineering, Hasnain Ahmad, accompanied by Shapiro Bandipodai. <laughs> Doctor of Philosophy and Engineering, A.N.K. Bishwash, accompanied by Shapiro Bandipodai. <laughs> Doctor of Philosophy and Engineering, M.D. Eftikar Hossein, accompanied by Shapiro Bandupahai. <laughs> Doctor of Philosophy and Engineering, 
Chopin Hafiz, accompanied by Umit Osgar. Doctor of Philosophy and Engineering, Nikita Tupurkov, accompanied by Umit Osgar. <laughs> Doctor of Philosophy and Engineering, Morteza Monaverian, accompanied by Umit Osgar. Doctor of Philosophy and Engineering, Shirei Leslie, accompanied by Dean Barbara Boyan. <laughs> Doctor of Philosophy in Mechanical and Nuclear Engineering, Nuveen Kumar Reddy Palapati, accompanied by Jayasimha Atulasimha. Doctor of Philosophy in Mechanical and Nuclear Engineering, Sunjay Shah, accompanied by Jayasimha Atulasimha. <laughs> Doctor of Philosophy in Chemistry, Jinan Gao, accompanied by Indika Archachika. Doctor of Philosophy in Chemistry, Sean Platt, accompanied by Sammy El Shaw. <laughs> Doctor of Philosophy in Media, Art, and Text, Lauren Boisso, accompanied by Catherine Roach. Doctor of Philosophy in Nanoscience and Nanotechnology, Dustin Michael Clifford, accompanied by Everett Carpenter. <laughs> Doctor of Philosophy in Nanoscience and Nanotechnology, Ahmed Fargali, accompanied by Marianne Collinson. Doctor of Philosophy in Nanoscience and Nanotechnology, Joy McNamara, accompanied by Michael Reshikoff. <laughs> Doctor of Philosophy in Nanoscience and Nanotechnology, Lauren White, accompanied by Massimo Bertino. Doctor of Philosophy in Psychology, Sarah Doyle, accompanied by Terry Sullivan. <laughs> Doctor of Philosophy in Psychology, Morgan L. Maxwell, accompanied by Faye Belgrave. Doctor of Philosophy in Counseling Psychology, Natasha N. Cole, accompanied by Faye Belgrave. <laughs> Doctor of Philosophy in Systems Modeling and Analysis, Rachel L. Cooper, accompanied by Angela Reynolds. Doctor of Philosophy in Integrative Life Sciences, Hugh Eaves, accompanied by his father, Lyndon Eaves. <laughs> Doctor of Philosophy in Integrative Life Sciences, Alex Waldrop, accompanied by Maria Rivera.
Doctor of Philosophy in Biochemistry, Jason M. Becta, accompanied by Ross Mickelson. <laughs> Doctor of Philosophy in Microbiology and Immunology, Sahar Lofty Emran, accompanied by Ross Mickelson. Doctor of Philosophy in Clinical and Translational Sciences, Eric Loken, accompanied by Ross Mickelson. <laughs> Doctor of Philosophy in Clinical and Translational Sciences, Mohammed Mamdani, accompanied by Ross Mickelson. Doctor of Philosophy in Biostatistics, Lauren Pace Grant, accompanied by David Wheeler. <laughs> Doctor of Philosophy in Human Genetics, Arija Alhairi, accompanied by Colleen Jackson Cook. Doctor of Philosophy in Human Genetics, David Brohan, accompanied by James Bennett, Jr. <laughs> Doctor of Philosophy in Healthcare Policy and Research, Ali Banakdar Darun, accompanied by Peter Cunningham. Doctor of Philosophy in Microbiology and Immunology, Catherine Hebert, accompanied by Jason Carline. <laughs> Doctor of Philosophy in Microbiology and Immunology, Sabrina Prescott, accompanied by Michael McBoy. Doctor of Philosophy in Neuroscience, Kristen Davis, accompanied by John Bigby. <laughs> Doctor of Philosophy in Neuroscience, Natalie Wheeler, accompanied by John Bigby. Doctor of Philosophy in Neuroscience, Shipping Zhu, accompanied by Pamela Knapp. <laughs> Doctor of Philosophy in Pharmacology and Toxicology, Evan Sumner, accompanied by Stephen Grossman. Doctor of Philosophy in Pharmacology and Toxicology, Matthew E. Tracy, accompanied by Keith Shelton. <laughs> Doctor of Philosophy in Physiology and Biophysics, Reem M. Alkatani, accompanied by Karnam Murthy. Doctor of Philosophy in Physiology and Biophysics, Ansi Nali, accompanied by Karnam Murthy. <laughs> Doctor of Philosophy in Physiology and Biophysics, Mba Uzuma Mba, accompanied by Ch Chudi of Robertson.
Hill. Doctor of Philosophy in Physiology and Biophysics, Candace Nicole Hatcher Solis, accompanied by Diomedes Logothetis. Doctor of Philosophy in Social and Behavioral Health, Omar El Shahawi, accompanied by Andrew Barnes. Doctor of Philosophy in Pharmaceutical Sciences, Batul Shabir Electriguala, accompanied by Norman Carroll. <laughs> Doctor of Philosophy in Pharmaceutical Sciences, Anisha Patel, accompanied by Norman Carroll. Doctor of Philosophy in Pharmaceutical Sciences, Della Varghese, accompanied by Norman Carroll. <laughs> Doctor of Philosophy in Pharmaceutical Sciences, Suda Korwar, accompanied by Keith Ellis. Doctor of Philosophy in Pharmaceutical Sciences, Farhana Sakloff, accompanied by Keith Ellis. <laughs> Doctor of Philosophy in Pharmaceutical Sciences, Tian Trong, accompanied by Peter Byron. Doctor of Philosophy in Pharmaceutical Sciences, Shang Yin Wei, accompanied by Peter Byron. <laughs> Doctor of Philosophy in Pharmaceutical Sciences, Meng Wang, accompanied by Peter Byron. Doctor of Philosophy in Pharmaceutical Sciences, Antoinette Bartolota Co, accompanied by Letitia Muchingamba. <laughs> Doctor of Philosophy in Pharmaceutical Sciences, Shaw Lee Pan, accompanied by Douglas Sweet. Doctor of Philosophy in Public Policy and Administration, Jose Alcane, accompanied by Sarah Jane Brubaker. <laughs> Doctor of Philosophy in Public Policy and Administration, Catherine Hall, accompanied by Sarah Jane Brubaker. Doctor of Philosophy in Public Policy and Administration, La Quan Hilton, accompanied by Sarah Jane Brubaker. Once again, congratulations to all of our PhD and EDD graduates. So now, Dean Boudinot, please come forward and present all of our candidates for their master's degrees and post-baccalaureate certificates in all disciplines. Thank you, Dr. Rao. Master's degrees. Will the master degree candidates for all majors in the following schools and offices please rise as I call your school and office?
College of Humanities and Sciences, School of Allied Health Professions, School of the Arts, School of Business, please remain standing, School of Dentistry, Please remain standing. <laughs> School of Education. <laughs> School of Engineering. L. L. Douglas Wilder School of Government and Public Affairs. School of Medicine. School of Nursing. So master's students, master's students in the School of Pharmacy. School of Social Work. VCU Life Sciences. VCU Da Vinci Center. VCU Office of Research, and all other master's candidates. Will the candidates for all post-baccalaureate graduate certificates in all disciplines please rise? Mr. President, as Dean of the Graduate School, it gives me great pleasure to present these students who have fulfilled all requirements and are recommended by the graduate faculty. And by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Commonwealth of Virginia, the Board of Visitors, upon the recommendation of each of your faculties, I am pleased to confer upon each of you your master's degrees and certificates. <laughs> School of Allied Health Professions Dean Cecil Drain will now come forward and present candidates for the degree Doctor of Nurse Anesthesia Practice. Will the candidates for the de degree Doctor of Nurse Anesthesia Practice please rise. <laughs> Mr. President, as Dean of the School of Allied Health Professions, it gives me great pleasure to present these students from our number one ranked program in nurse anesthesia by US News and World Report for the last 12 years, who have filled all requirements and are recommended by the world-class faculty. And by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Commonwealth of Virginia, the Board of Visitors, upon the recommendation of your faculty, I am pleased to confer upon each of you the degree Doctor of Nurse Anesthesia Practice. Thank you. And now, Dean Drain, will you please also present, while you are here, those candidates for the degree Doctor of Physical Therapy. Thank you, sir. Will the candidates for the degree Doctor of Physical Therapy please rise? <laughs> Mr. President, as Dean of the School of Allied Health Professions, it gives me great pleasure to present these students from our highly ranked physical therapy program by U.S. News and World Report who have filled all requirements and are recommended by their nationally recognized faculty. And by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Commonwealth of Virginia, the Board of Visitors, upon the recommendation of your faculty, I am pleased to confer upon each of you the degree Doctor of Physical Therapy. And now, Dean, Dentistry Dean Dave Surrett, would you please come forward and present candidates for the degree Doctor of Dental Surgery? Now it's your chance. <laughs> Will the candidates for the degree of Doctor of Dental Surgery pre please rise? Dr. Rao, as Dean of the School of Dentistry, it gives me pleasure to present 
These fantastic students who have fulfilled all requirements are, and are recommended by their outstanding faculty. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Commonwealth of Virginia, the Board of Visitors, upon the recommendation of the dentistry faculty, I am pleased to confer upon each of you the degree Doctor of Dental Surgery. <laughs> At this time, I will ask Dean Jerry Strauss of the School of Medicine to please come forward and present candidates for the degree Doctor of Medicine. Will the candidates for the degree of Doctor of Medicine please rise? Mr. President, as Dean of the School of Medicine, it is a privilege to present these students who have fulfilled all requirements and are recommended by our outstanding faculty. And by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Commonwealth of Virginia, the Board of Visitors, upon the recommendation of your faculty, I am pleased to confer upon each one of you the degree Doctor of Medicine. And now, School of Pharmacy Dean Joe DePiro, will you please come forward and present candidates for the degree Doctor of Pharmacy? Will the candidates for the degree of Doctor of Pharmacy please rise? <laughs> Mr. President, as Dean of Pharmacy, it gives me pleasure to present these students who have fulfilled all requirements and are recommended by the faculty. And by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Commonwealth of Virginia, the Board of Visitors, upon the recommendation of the pharmacy faculty, I am pleased to confer upon each one of you the degree Doctor of Pharmacy. I now ask at this time that VCU Honors College Associate Dean Jacqueline Smith Mason please come forward to the podium to acknowledge students who are graduating today with Latin and University Honors. In accordance with university tradition, those bachelor degree holders who have done exceptionally well academically and have completed a minimum of 45 credits at VCU are recognized with Latin Honors. All students with a grade point average between 3.3 and 3.59 on a scale of up to 4.0 are graduating cum laude, which signifies graduation with academic distinction. Will these students please rise? All students with a grade point average between 3.6 and 3.89 are graduating magna cum laude, which signifies graduation with high academic distinction. Will these students please rise? Please be seated. All students with a grade point average of 3.9 or higher are graduating summa cum laude, which, which signifies graduation with the highest academic distinction. Will these students please rise? Thank you, and congratulations to you all. Now, I would also like to recognize all bachelor degree candidates who, in addition to earning Latin honors, have completed a rigorous, the rigorous requirements of Virginia Commonwealth University's Honors College and will graduate today with university honors. Will these students please rise?
Congratulations to you all on your exceptional achievement. Thank you, Dr. Smith Mason. Now, let's turn our attention so that we may award baccalaureate degrees and certificates. So for that, I will ask College of Humanities and Sciences Interim Dean, Allison Baskey, to please come forward to the podium to make her presentation. Will the candidates for all bachelor's degrees and baccalaureate certificates in the College of Humanities and Sciences please rise? <laughs> Mr. President, as Interim Dean of Humanities and Sciences, it is my pleasure to present these students who have fulfilled all requirements and are recommended by their distinguished faculty. And by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Commonwealth of Virginia, the Board of Visitors, upon the recommendation of your faculty, I am pleased to confer upon each one of you your baccalaureate degrees and certificates. Thank you. At this time, I will ask School of Allied Health Professions Dean Cecil Drain to return to the podium. Thank you, Dr. Rao. Will the candidates for the bachelor's degree from the School of Allied Health Professions please rise? <laughs> Mr. President, Dean of the School of Allied Health Professions gives me great pleasure to present these students from our top rank school who fulfilled all requirements and are recommended by their world-class faculty. And by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Commonwealth of Virginia, the Board of Visitors, upon the recommendation of your faculty, I am pleased to confer upon each one of you your baccalaureate degrees. At this time, I will ask School of the Arts Dean Joe Seipel if he would please come forward to the podium and present candidates for graduation. Will the candidates for the bachelor's degrees and baccalaureate certificates in all majors for the School of the Arts please rise. <laughs> Mr. President, as Dean of the School of the Arts, the number one ranked public school of the arts in the United States, it gives me great pleasure to present these students who fulfilled all the requirements and are recommended by the faculty. And by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Commonwealth of Virginia, the Board of Visitors, upon the recommendation of your faculty, I am pleased to confer upon each one of you your baccalaureate degrees and certificates. At this time, I will ask School of Business Dean Ed Greer to please come forward to the podium to make his presentation. For the School of Business, will all candidates for bachelor's degrees and baccalaureate certificates please rise? <laughs> Mr. President, as Dean of the School of Business, it gives me great pleasure to present these students who fulfilled all the requirements and are recommended by their great faculty. And by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Commonwealth of Virginia, the Board of Visitors, upon the recommendation of your faculty, I am pleased to confer upon each of you your baccalaureate degrees and certificates. Dentistry Dean Dave Surrett, would you please come forward again to present baccalaureate candidates from your school for their graduation? Will the candidates for the bachelor's degree in dental hygiene in the School of Dentistry please rise? <laughs> Dr. Rowell, as Dean of Dentistry, it gives me great pleasure to present these outstanding students who have fulfilled all requirements 
and are recommended by their top-notch faculty in the School of Dentistry. And by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Commonwealth of Virginia, the Board of Visitors, upon the recommendation of your faculty, I am pleased to confer upon each one of you your baccalaureate degrees in dental hygiene. At this time, I will ask School of Education Interim Dean Leela Christenberry if she would please come forward to the podium to present candidates for their graduation. Will the candidates for all bachelor's degrees in the School of Education please rise? Well, they're here in spirit. <laughs> Mr. President, as Interim Dean, of the School of Education, ranked 33 nationally in the school of 1,500 schools of education, it gives me great pleasure to present these students in spirit who have fulfilled all requirements and are recommended by our fabulous faculty. And by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Commonwealth of Virginia, the Board of Visitors, upon the recommendation of the education faculty, I am pleased to confer upon each of our students their baccalaureate degrees and certificates. <laughs> Dean Barbara Boyan of Engineering, would you please come forward to the podium to present engineering candidates for their graduation? Would the candidates for the bachelor's degrees and baccalaureate certificates in the very best school of engineering in Virginia Commonwealth University please rise? Mr. President, as Dean of Engineering, it gives me pleasure to present these students who have fulfilled all requirements and are recommended by their faculty. And by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Commonwealth of Virginia, the Board of Visitors, upon the recommendation of engineering faculty, I am pleased to confer upon each one of you your baccalaureate degrees and certificates. <laughs> And now I will ask the L. Douglas Wilder School Dean Naraj Verma if he would please come forward and present candidates for their graduation from his school. Will the candidates for all bachelor's degrees in the L. Douglas Wilder School of Government and Public Affairs please rise? President Rao, as Dean of the L. Douglas Wilder School of Government and Public Affairs, it gives me great pleasure to present these outstanding students who fulfilled all requirements for their degrees and are recommended by our distinguished faculty. And by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Commonwealth of Virginia, the Board of Visitors, upon the recommendation of your faculty, I am pleased to confer upon each of you your baccalaureate degrees. Thank you. I now ask School of Nursing Dean Jean Giddens if she will please come forward to the podium to present our nursing graduates. Will all candidates for all bachelor's degree in the School of Nursing please rise. <laughs> Mr. President, as Dean of Nursing, it gives me pleasure to present these students who have fulfilled all requirements and are recommended by our outstanding faculty. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Commonwealth of Virginia, the Board of Visitors, upon the recommendation of the nursing faculty, I am pleased to confer upon each of you your baccalaureate degrees. Thank you. At this time, I will ask Social Work School Dean Jim Hinterlong to please come forward to the podium to present candidates for their graduation. Thank you, Mr. President. Will the candidates for the degree Bachelor of Social Work please rise? <laughs> President Rao, as Dean of the School of Social Work, it gives me great pleasure to present these students who have completed all requirements 
and are recommended by our faculty to be professional social workers. And by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Commonwealth of Virginia, the Board of Visitors, upon the recommendation of the social work faculty, I am pleased to confer upon each of you your baccalaureate degrees. At this time, I will ask University College Interim Dean Shelley Fowler if she will please come forward to the podium. Will the candidates for bachelor's degrees in interdisciplinary studies in University College please rise? Yeah. <laughs> President Rao, as interim dean, it gives me great pleasure to present these students who have fulfilled all requirements and are recommended by the faculty. And by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Commonwealth of Virginia, the Board of Visitors, upon the recommendation of your faculty, I am pleased to confer upon each one of you the degree Bachelor of Indis Interdisciplinary Studies. And I ask at this time Interim Life Sciences Vice Provost Len Smock if he will please come forward. Will the candidates for all bachelor's degree for life sciences please rise? <laughs> Mr. President, as Interim Vice Provost for Life Sciences, it gives me great pleasure to present these students who have fulfilled all requirements and are recommended by the faculty. And by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Commonwealth of Virginia, the Board of Visitors, and upon the recommendation of your faculty, I am pleased to confer upon each of you your baccalaureate degrees. You. Provost Hackett. Thank you, President Rao. At this time, I invite Jim Williams, VCU Alumni President, to share some final remarks. Thank you, Dr. Hackett. On behalf of VCU alumni and all its constituent organizations, it is my privilege and proud honor to welcome you to this wonderful occasion. To be here today, you've received much support and encouragement from your families and friends, but this personal educational achievement is a tribute to your hard work and intellectual perseverance. As you graduate today and bring this chapter of your academic career to a close, we hope that you will recognize your university and your alumni organization who have provided you with solid ground from which to grow. We also hope, as alumni, you will use your significant talents and energies to not only continue alumni stewardship for future generations, but also to expand upon it. We invite you to join more than 175,000 VCU alumni throughout the world and with words and deeds show the excellence and quality of your education. Be proud of your university because we are proud of each of you. Our wish for each of you is that you will realize your full potential and in so doing, find a method of contributing back to society and the university in such a way that is meaningful to you. We're honored to welcome you into our alumni family. Congratulations, class of 2016. Thank you, Jim. So now it's my pleasure to practice a tradition that is a wonderful tradition at all commencement um, ceremonies, and that is to ask you as graduates to move your tassels from the right side of your mortarboard to the left side of your mortarboard. Please do that now. Congratulations to VCU's class of 2016! Graduates, families, and friends, this brings our commencement ceremony to a close. We ask that you kindly allow the platform party to exit. Our marshals will then lead you in your recessional. On behalf of President Rao, 
and the VCU Board of Visitors, I wish you all the very best. Thank you and congratulations.